So here's a sort of informal comparison of three drawing tools that are in my kit just now. The Kakimori Brass Nib is the first one I'll be drawing with here. And uh, this is a relatively new tool to me. It's a nib I've gotten recently. And uh, what's exciting about it is uh, that it can do super thick and thin lines, especially when you use it on its side. So you can load this nib once and then it gives you very thick, almost like painting lines on its side. And of course, by going vertical, you can get very thin lines. Uh, what's also really exciting to me is that um, one dip goes very, very far. So you can see I'm not re-dipping here as I'm drawing. And I can literally pull that ink puddle and the reservoir holds a lot. So you can go very far before you have to re-dip. Super useful if um, you're as clumsy as me, the less you have to re-dip into an open ink container, um, the less chance of spills. But also um, I find it um, easier to draw when I have to not think about re-dipping all the time. So fantastic uh, tool and I love the line quality. It's really silent for a dip nib. Um, you'll see that in comparison to the next tool here, which is a more traditional bamboo dip pen. Much more uh, of a scratchy sound on the paper. I happen to like the sound of nibs pulling on paper, but if it bothers you, the kakimori is much more silent. Uh, Again, a line quality I love, but you will see that to make a drawing of about the same size as that first one with the bamboo pen, I have to dip back two or three times into my ink reservoir. So each dip takes you a much shorter distance. Um, a different line quality, uh, something that I'm not sure comes across that much in the video, but there really is a difference in the line between, say, a wooden stick or a bamboo dip pen and a metal nib. Um, it's something you can actually see close up on the paper, but both lovely organic lines, um, nice line variety. I really like that in both these tools. But then you can say that of all three tools, it's not really a comparison this video to show you which one is better or worse. It's really just three tools I have in my kit and use a fair bit. So they all have their pluses and minuses, but they also all do different things. This third one um, has been a long time favorite with me, not a dip pen. This is a Sailor Fude pen, uh, the pen I draw with most of the time. Um, so of course, not being a dip pen means there's no chance of spills or anything like that. And I don't have to re-dip and then reservoir of ink takes me pretty far. Again, nice line variety, um, nice thick and thin lines. It won't have the thick line that the kakimori nib can give you but uh, for a fountain pen it has really nice line variety so those are the three tools three different kinds of lines all with good line variety um, take your pick or um, like me carry all three tools in your kit <laughs>